So just explain then what was happening there and what the show is about. So it's called Buy It Now for Christmas and it's, it's a show where inventors can come on and they've already invented a product. Most of them are putting quite a lot of money into this product. And we're not talking, you know, Tarquin from, you know, Chelsea, who's made this thing with mummy and daddy's money. We're talking like Barry in his shed in like Wigan. Right. Has made the cocker pan, for argument's sake. And we put them in front of a focus group audience. So 100 normal people, shoppers, that yeah. would sit there and go, mm, yeah, I might buy that, maybe not. If they like what they see, they light up their light. Uh -huh. But they don't know the price. Mm. And then the price gets revealed and then we see how many lights stay on. And if the lights stay on, they then commit to buy that product there and then. Oh. So brilliant, they've made 20 sales. But, but if uh, the, the guy with, with cocker pan. Yeah. So, um, you so love the cocker pan, don't you? And I buy that. Very good so long as it didn't get too dry and it didn't, you did get Christmas No, it was skin. Love, I lovely I like little steaming chicken. thing because I love a bit of cooking, cooking time. Idea. Honestly, I'm selling it for him. <laughs> um, if, if the whole studio say absolutely, yeah, we're going to go for that. Yeah. Does he have to go away and make them all, or has he, have they got manufacturers already in place? M most of them are already manufactured, but they're just not known about and they don't know how to get them into stores. But we've got the audience, which is great, so they commit to buy, but then we've got three leading retailers. Now, these are the ones that can really make the difference. So we're not looking for an investment in the product, we're actually looking to sell this product like straight away. Exactly. So we've got Amazon Launchpad, JML and Lakeland. Oh, wow. And they can sit there and go, and it has happened, we love this product, we'll take 5,000. So and it goes straight to sell. Really? That's why it's called Buy well, It Now. Can um, then buy it now? Sylvia from Sutton. Ooh, I like that. Um, Sylvia from Sutton, I love Sil. Gel shoe in sh inserts, um, and she got a quarter of a million ordered. Ridiculous, ridiculous money. We're talking life-changing money. Yeah. And the amount of times that people have gone on this show, and I've met them, and I've purposely said, I don't want to meet anyone before the show. I like seeing it for real as a shopper. Mm. Yeah. Because I like asking questions. And... People are putting a lot of money. I'm talking about remortgage their house to make, to make a cafetiere. Yeah. And you're like, what? Who uses a cafetiere still? But the amount of people that sit there and go, actually, you've invented something that is a problem mm. that I didn't even know that, that I, I had know. and I want to buy it because the price is Was right. there anything that caught your eye? Did you There buy was a few it? things, actually. I'm quite techy, so I quite liked a lot of the tech stuff. And Amazon Launchpad, what I loved about them is they were really looking to launch brands. And, I mean, that's what they are. Um, but the amount of things that I would get confused with where I think... I can guarantee that Lakeland will order about 20,000 of these. Mm. This is right up their street. And then they order zero, but then someone like JML or Amazon Launchpad will go, yeah, we'll have 5,000. So and it makes you think, wow, this is crazy. And the audience, that focus group, do sway them a lot. Yeah. Because there's things that come out that you go, they're going to love this. But then one person in the audience, like Jean from up the road, will ask one very simple question and ruin it for but everyone. So go. Right but I just hang it on a hook. And everyone yeah. goes, oh, yeah, I can hang it on a hook, turn my life. Oh, my God. And you're like, Jane, you've just ruined this bloke's life. Like, it. it's crazy, but, yeah. That so that's uh, the telly side of things. Yes. I mean, you've got so many, so many shows. I mean, like, we, we're actually at the list of the oh, it's shows. I'm so cheap. buy now for Christmas, Ready, mm -hmm. Steady, Cook, that's coming out next year. Rylan on Saturday on Radio 2, Strictly It Takes Two. Uh, you Are What You Wear, uh, date to, be, see, to uh, be confirmed when that's coming out. Channel 4, Alternative Election Night. Hopefully we'll get to that in a moment. Yeah. Uh, and Nativity the Musical. Yes. Now, that, uh, that's a biggie. That's a big commitment. That's a big show. Yeah, I said yes to that in January. I didn't have any other work. So, oh, no, I'm joking. No. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I'm really excited, actually, because I get to work with Sharon again. The whole family, Oh, this is the whole this, family. This is the kids, the adults. I mean, there's a little nod to the adults in there as well that only the adults would get. But I saw little Danny die last week at Children in Need, and she said, you know you're wearing a giant ball ball? I said, are you what? I've not... You are going to love that. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've actually got one similar in charge. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Have you got... And, um, and for this, it's the critic. So... I'm the critic, so I get to play horrible, which is really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm bored of being nice to everyone, so I can just shout at children and get away with it. <laughs> I can't wait. I feel like Paul O'Grady when he's the child gadget. Now, one of, the, one of these shows is going to be particularly tough because you finish the show, the matinee. No, the evening The evening show. one, yes. Yeah, so and the then... evening of the... 12th. The 12th of December. It's, I think it's actually the press night as well for Nativity at the Apollo. Um, so I come off stage at about 10 to 10. Mm. And then I think the studios are now at Riverside Studios, where you used to do Juice. Yeah. Um, so I can come off stage and go straight into election night on Channel 4 and do the election till 6am. The alternative all night. election. Yeah, all night. And then, so I finish election at 6am. 
I'll have a few hours sleep and then it's my final strictly. And then the you're back day. on nativity and then, the day yeah, after. Yeah, then back to nativity. You're mad. I'm um, not. I'm just earning the coins. But uh, <laughs> there, there will be. People... I'm honest, Hal. No, 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 no. I was an expert to read it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there were a lot of people surprised that uh, that you were going to do an election night, yeah. election night coverage. But you are very, very actively interested in politics. I love it, yeah. I've, I mean, since Big Brother ended, B BBC Parliament's my favourite reality show. I always have it on in the background. I absolutely love it, and I'm always watching it. So I'm always hearing different things, and especially since Brexit as well. One thing I've never done is I've never said, you should vote for this person, you should vote for that person. And again, to bring it back to Big Brother, I think that's what built it into me. I'm always Mr Impartial. But when it comes down to the election, I put out a tweet earlier on in the year and a load of like political journalists really took the mick out of me and sort of said, like, what do you know? Like, basically, how dare you even comment on something like mm -mm. this? And I just thought, are you stupid? Like, I was a 30-year-old man. I'm your target demographic. I'm someone who's not into politics, in your eyes, someone who don't really know what you stand for, what you do and don't do. Are you not... Am I not the one you want to enrol? Yeah. Like, am I not the one you want to get out to? And every time I speak about sort of, like, the WTO or the, the Northern Ireland backstop and things like that on Twitter, I speak about it how I would talk to you about it, just so anyone. So people can understand. Get, and people, people will message saying, me and oh, go, now I oh, that's what that means. I'm yeah. like, yeah, it is quite simple. It's so but important. We that. don't need to talk about it the way that it's, mm. <clears throat> excuse me, always being discussed in Parliament. And you're not getting a right answer... Left, left or right, it's um, just crazy. Another thing, just to congratulate, Children in Need, your karaoke. Oh, yeah. I mean, that well was done. extraordinary. I think it's about 1.1 million and 20,000. I mean, 000. that's incredible. That must feel incredible that you've done that. It, it, I genuinely did not realise we'd make that much money. Uh. I, I thought I might hit the £100,000 mark and then sort of by the following morning it was coming up like a hundred and fifty thousand pounds. It was also hour. lovely because it, it, you know, it proved to everyone once again, you know, that, uh, that you've got a great voice. Wow. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that record deal. <laughs> well, you haven't got time to fit it in. <laughs> uh, buy it now for Christmas, Thursday at 8 on Channel 4. Thank Nativity, you. the musical, the Eventium Apollo from the 11th of December, and it's lovely. It's always so lovely to come in.